No shaking folks, Mini Guinea from Drones Mag coming back at you today with another Hot Tip Tuesday and today we're talking about sealing edges or at least filing or protecting them on carbon fiber frames for wires that pass over them so you don't have any fraying or uh, short outs or brown outs or crashes because of something that literally could have taken you seconds to uh, prevent by either sanding down the edge or protecting it otherwise to keep the wires that are running over that edge from chafing. Case in point, the antenna wire on my Rise or XS255 is passing right over the arm. There's no tension on it, but it is resting on the edge of the arm where the carbon fiber is nice and sharp. And flight after flight after flight, eventually that carbon fiber and the vibrations from the motors, crashes, bumps with gates, turbulence, what have you, is going to wear through that insulation and going to get to the root of that coaxial receiver wire. Could be a battery wire, could be a flight controller wire, could be a motor wire, could be anything. Um, but anyways, like I said, just going to show you a few s simple steps um, that you can take in order to prevent something like that from happening um, just to protect the edges of the frame. So without further ado, I'll start chopping. All right, so basically you've got two options here. The first being filing down and sealing the edge of the frame. You don't really have to seal it, but it's gonna keep it from further uh, degrading or decaying, anything like that. But basically right up close in there, where that wire is running over the arm. I'm gonna take and lift away that wire. This is something you should be doing probably before you install your electronics. Place them all out, see where those wires are going. Hit the frame up with whatever precautions you're going to do before you install anything uh, so you don't jab yourself or you end up holding something back like that and sticking yourself with a file. I'm just using a file I got from, um, I think it's a cheap little set I got from Harbor Freight or something like that, Lowe's, Home Depot. It's like six or eight bucks for this little handle with a bunch of different file sets that can get in there in the vise. So I'm just going to take and, you know, that wire, get the wire out of the way with my thumb. We want to file the frame, not the wire. I'm literally just going to go back and forth over that little frame area. Right over the corner. Just take down some of that edge. Make it nice and smooth. And there you go. Voila. Now, through the vibration, you don't have a nice sharp edge. It's going to run through that wire. If you want to seal it, you can hit it with some CA glue or even swipe some um, nail polish from your old lady speaking of which if you don't have a file nice fancy file like that from Harbor Freight you can actually steal also from your old lady a little emery board or a nail file as she may refer to it so there you go step number one how to protect a frame from wire chafing so I already showed you guys how to file an edge on carbon fiber to take the sharpness out of it to protect your wires. The second way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take <clears throat> a little bit of nitromethane fuel line. Uh, you can find it for helicopters, cars, boats, airplanes. Not really for drones anymore, not since the Youngblood Stingray came and went. But anyway... Um, I'm literally going to take, uh, I got my Sky Hero Anakin here, and I'm just going to wrap this fuel line, split it open, and wrap it around some of these edges and stick it in place with some glue. Um, like I said, I've got the Sky Hero Anakin, one of my old trusties. I don't like how the lead for the VTX um, from the PDV is kind of resting right against that edge there. You know, nice sharp um, two millimeter top deck. On the back edge um, so I could file it down but I've already got everything installed in there so um, I don't want to go jamming a file in there you guys have seen how reckless I am with that thing so I'm going to take my fuel line a trusty hobby knife with a nice sharp new blade in it and a set of uh, these are actually Lexan scissors I believe these are from Grex but you can find them again for in any hobby retailer uh, body scissors, Lexan scissors, or even just some fine craft scissors. 
Um, these have a slight curve to them, but straight blade will do you just fine as well. So I got about a one inch area there I want to seal off. So I'm just going to take a lop off about that inch. Stop that bad boy from rolling and sticking in my toe. And I'm just going to open this fuel line up in half. That's it. Simple as can be. See, you can peel her open. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this Fix and Flex from Deluxe Materials. It's a wonder goop. Stays flexible after it cures. It'll stick to just about anything. Wood, metal, plastic, silicone, carbon fiber. You can find them at deluxematerials.com. Uh, Horizon Hobby carries them in the United States as well. They are from across the pond, as they say. But this stuff was designed with airplane guys in mind, but anybody can use the fix and flex. I'm just going to take and squeeze a little bit of this goop right into the center there. Beauty of it is once it's in there, once I get it in place, it'll work its way around. And then I'm going to take and just kind of force the opening on that edge on the inside there. Oh, she's making it difficult. I'll reach around from the bottom, make sure it don't go nowhere. There you go. That's it. Now what I'll do is I'll take a couple zip ties, hold that thing down, but you can see, you know, nice silicone, it wraps around the edge. I'm still holding it in place until it cures up. Um, or until I get the zip ties on it and then it cures up, but I'll throw a couple zip ties on there hold it nice and tight to the frame um, Take them off tomorrow once it's cured up Maybe add a little bit more if I need to and uh, be ready to rip, but there you go A couple of different ways to seal off frame edges to prevent chafing for your wires to uh, You know prevent crashes again for no other reason than dumb thumbs Giggity